All right, the folks, we are here to perform surgery. Wait, right, no, no, we're not. We are here to show you the newest new news update. Wow, like it's annoying, kind of uh, to say. All right, so we have maintenance coming Thursday, 420. Maintenance period 421. A.M. till 6 a.m. PDT, whatever that is. Pacific, I don't know. Uh, new units to awaken. Told you they were coming. Following maintenance on Thursday, 420. We have Terra and Kefka 6 star. Looks pretty good to me. Um, don't know too much about the both of them, but there's some info on the spells that they're carrying around now we are at the floating continent one of my favorite places uh just if you know anything about final fantasy 6 this is the midpoint i guess you could say in the game story-wise um and from here it just gets uh awesome the floating continent was awesome the what happens to the world after the floating continent is amazing. It's just really cool. So, a thousand years ago, when the War of the Magi that had ravaged the land had finally ended, the power of manish, van, not magic vanished from the world. In the wake of a technological revolution, the Gestalian armor, which somehow restored the power of magic in hopes of taking over the world, faced off against the Returners. The rebel force that opposes it. Set afloat by the Empire once again, the floating continent has now appeared in the dimensional vortex. Rain and company shall behold the wonder, wonders of this land, and the mysterious girl able to manipulate magic who journeyed across it with her friends. So, also, I just thought of something. If you know anything about the floating continent, I, I'm wondering if there's a point during the floating continent if there's an exploration in it where you have to wait till the last three seconds to save stupid shadow <laughs> if any of you catch that reference know that what i'm talking about let me know uh beginner gets the rare summon ticket intermediate 200 fish advanced 300 fish pro 500 fish 500 lapis for elite and there are not much info we got something called warrior mage we got something called returner we will be getting rare summon tickets trust moogle 10 percent the bray looks like nothing special uh the tabby suit looks like it's really creepy yeah, it's a whole little furry thing. Interesting. Uh, but those are the only mentions we get for what King Mog has for giving him fish. Oh man, I feel so bad about giving anyone fish in a Final Fantasy VI event. It's just... Ugh. So, character bonuses. You'll be getting bonus, bonuses off the uh, other two characters that are that were previously in the game as well as the three new characters and Napala or N Nalapa whoa N read that backwards kind of uh, so Nalapa he had a different name in Final Fantasy 6 um, in my copy of Final Fantasy 3 he appears in pro and elite quests and require a lot of fish. He uses a range of fire attacks. And the number of times it appears varies by level. So you could have him appear more than once? Nice. Second week update would mean we will be fighting Kafka. A new highly difficult quest will be available. And... We will be having it, all five of these characters in the featured summon, it looks like. I was hoping we'd have a better 
chance of pulling with the, uh, you know, just having three characters with major boost rates, but you know, we get what we get. 240 magic on Trans Terra. Trust Mastery Reward of Soul of the Massa. Um, MP plus 30 and dual cast? Yes, please. We got full life. We got chaos wave. And we got magical activation. Boost magic and spirit. Reduces MP cost of chaos wave to zero for the next turn. And increase power. Yeah, I'll take that. We got Setzer. Which... I'm very confused by this Trust Master reward. Random is always a very dangerous word. Attack plus one and random dam damage when attacking. That's very strange. Um, Joker's Death is an instant KO to all enemies. Double dice damages all enemies with random power. Red card damages one enemy. Gao. I actually want to know... I don't know if I want a Gao... I want to know what he does, though, because what he does is, well, first of all, we got a Trust Mastery Reward of Rage Meteor. Um, not quite sure how that differs from regular me Meteor. Uh, we'll have to find out. We've got Poison. <gasps> no, I'm kidding. Uh, we got Mega Volt, Lightning Damage to All Enemies. That uh, that was a pretty good spell from uh, f coming from Gao. And Leap. This is the one that is interesting to me. Leap is ability that randomly enables special abilities only av available during this battle. So, from Final Fantasy VI, Leap meant you jumped on the back of a character and you came back with his abilities. So, it seems like whatever character is in the battle at that time will be... The uh, whoever you leap at will be the abilities you're using for that time being. I wonder if it'll kill them like it did in Final Fantasy VI. The battle just ended if that was the only enemy there. Uh, we get regular Terra, Ray of Hope, cure all those uh, status elements for all allies, unlock magic, boost magic, and enable three and enable special abilities for three turns, flare. Which is just weird. Fire damage and reduce water resistance. I don't get that. That's confusing. <coughs> um, six star Kefka. Roar of Laughter. I mean, he comes with uh, uh, Ribbon as his Trust Master reward. I didn't notice there was Magic and Spirit attached to it. Not that those matter that much. But it nullifies all those status ailments. Roar of Laughter, chance of reducing attack, defense, magic, and spirit for all enemies when receiving a physical attack. Interesting. Last Footstep, damage and reduce spirit for all enemies. Light of Judgment, deal partial unmitigated magic damage to all enemies. So, yeah. Uh, that's all I can think of for uh, today's update. There isn't anything new or special going on other than that. Um, I'm still trying to do as much as I can with those egg seekers, just in case I want, uh, well, where is it? Crafting. I'll show you. I have one staff of wrath, one second knife, four black bandanas. I was going for, I was thinking about getting a fifth one. One Crown of Justice, I was thinking about getting a second, just because. Uh, three Icy Rains, one Cold Snap, you can't have more than one Cold Snap because they require Crystal Egg of the Mind. Uh, three Ice Veins, Icy Veins, just because you never know what's going to come out uh, sooner or later. This has 10% mitigation against Ice and 18-18, so it's better than uh, some of the things that are out there. So yeah, just wanted to show you guys the newest news update, and uh, yeah, hope you enjoy. And remember, to enjoy life, because if you're not, you're missing the point.